Hey Great Dramas, Greg of Great Dramas here today, taking you through a Japanese whiskey bottled at 45% ABV from the Nikka Whiskey Company that's existed since 1934, according to the plastic cap, which I don't particularly like on the top. And it's called the Single Malt Yoichi. Um, so this is a rather special one. Lots of Japanese back label copy, marvellous. Um, and yeah, really cool uh, a release. Anything Japanese and really Japanese is hot right now and um, has been for a few years so that's always good as well um having been to japan and tried incredible really fortunate to try incredible whiskies over there um oh, anything japanese japan food drink whatever people it's all just brilliant isn't it um that's one place on earth that i would go back to time and time and time again um absolutely loved it from the fantastic people to the gorgeous distilleries in there the Japanese Alps and in the forests and wherever um, to the food which is off the charts um, and then the cocktails and then of course the whiskey as well. So Yoichi and the nose quite an initial fruity hit actually. 45 ABV but it nose is a bit stronger. Something quite interesting there. That is so smooth. A subtle, I think subtle smoke note there. Not really big or overpowering as you'd imagine. Japanese whiskey is all about balance and harmony. And a man called Takatsu back in 1923 was sent over to uh, Scotland to learn, understand, and then return to Jap uh, Japan to perfect how the Scots make whiskey. And so he did that to a degree. Um, spent six years at the Longmorn Distillery, actually married a, a lady from the village um, and they went back to Japan together and then set up what is now the flourishing uh, Japanese whiskey industry. Um, but it took until they won the, uh, I think it was double gold or world's best whiskey in 2008, if memory serves, with Hibiki 17 from Suntory. And um, that's when the whole Japanese whiskey category was put on the map. Same year that uh, Bill Murray was lost in translation. Um, and a film, weirdly, I watched last time I was on a plane to Japan, um, which is a nice kind of reminder or reinduction to it. Um, this, what a whiskey. All about balance, harmony, and perfection. And I think it has all of those in spades. Cheers. Until next time.